Ductus deferens. Ductus deferens, also called as vas deferens, is a direct continuation of the canal of the epididymis. In humans, each tube is about 45 centimeters long, 3 to 5 millimeters in diameter, and is muscular, surrounded by smooth muscle. Its epithelium is pseudostratified columnar epithelium lined by stereocilia. It is a thick-walled muscular tube with a narrow lumen except at the terminal end which is dilated, called the ampulla. The ductus deferens enters the spermatic cord and passes through the inguinal canal. At the deep inguinal ring, it leaves the spermatic cord and hooks around the lateral side of the inferior epigastric artery. In the region of the ischial spine, it crosses the ureter and then bends medially to reach the base of the bladder. The part lying behind the bladder is dilated to form ampulla and there is no intervening peritoneum between the bladder base and the ductus deferens. At the base of the prostate, it is joined by the duct of the seminal vesicle to form the ejaculatory duct. Ductus deferens contains fructose, which is nutritive to spermatozoa, and receives innervation primarily from sympathetic nerves of the hypogastric plexus and parasympathetic nerves of the pelvic plexus. Arterial supply. Ductus deferens is supplied by artery to ductus deferens, a branch of superior vesicle artery. Occasionally, artery to ductus deferens may arise from the inferior vesicle artery. Histology. The wall of the vas or ductus deferens consists of three layers. The outer layer is made of connective tissue, whereas the middle layer is comprised of smooth muscle. An inner mucosal layer is also present. The muscular layer of the vas or ductus deferens consists of three layers. An inner longitudinal layer, a thick intermediate circular layer, and outer longitudinal layer. These layers are innervated by the sympathetic nervous system. The vas or ductus deferens consists of an inner epithelial lining with supportive lamina propria. The epithelium lining the vas or ductus deferens is pseudostratified columnar epithelium and is very similar to the epithelium seen in the epididymis. This inner layer is comprised of longitudinal folds which allows the vas deferens to expand during ejaculation. Embryology. The vas deferens develops from the mesonephric or Wolfian ducts. These ducts are derived from the mesoderm, the middle layer of one of the three primary germ layers in the embryo. The other two layers are the ectoderm and the endoderm. Various male reproductive structures are formed from budding off the mesonephric ducts like the seminal vesicles and the epididymis. After the budding of these structures, the remaining mesonephric ducts develop a muscular coat and form the vas or ductus deferens. Clinical anatomy. The vas deferens may be obstructed or it may be completely absent in a condition known as congenital absence of the vas deferens, a potential feature of cystic fibrosis causing male infertility. Acquired obstructions can occur due to infections. To treat these causes of male infertility, Sperm can be harvested by testicular sperm extraction, TESE, and microsurgical epididymal sperm aspiration, MESA, or other methods of collecting sperm cells directly from the testicle or epididymis. Vasectomy. The vas deferens can be easily palpated between the testes and the superficial inguinal ring because it has a thick, smooth muscle wall. A useful method of male sterilization or contraception is a vasectomy. The procedure involves an incision in the superior aspect of the scrotum and ligation or excision of the vas deferens. This prevents transportation of the spermatozoa to the ejaculatory duct and results in the absence of spermatozoa in the ejaculate. The spermatozoa then degenerate in the epididymis and proximal portion of the vas or ductus deferens. Reversal of a vasectomy is usually successful if the patient is less than 30 years of age and also underwent the vasectomy operation less than 7 years ago. Reversal occurs by reattaching the ends of the ligated or excised ductus deferens with the aid of an operating microscope.